Alan Cathy, the governor, says his administration is doing all it can to combat the problem of legionnaires in the water, which has led to a total of 13 deaths since a major outbreak in 2015. But lawmakers aren't satisfied and are demanding details and accountability. If he's in charge, he definitely bears responsibility, but you have to ask him if he's in charge. The chairman of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee says the Legionnaires' crisis at the Quincy Veterans Home cries out for answers, which he hopes to get at a hearing next month. Who knew what, when they knew it, why the families weren't there, what the long-term goal is, what the CDC is going to do going forward. The governor says since becoming aware of the outbreak in 2015 when 12 veterans died, his administration has taken every possible step, including spending more than $5 million to upgrade the water supply system there. Despite that, in 2016, there were five more cases of Legionnaires, and this past fall, three more cases, one fatal. We brought in national experts. We brought in people from the Center for D Disease Control in Atlanta. We've reviewed every step we've taken, every protocol, every possible recommendation. And we've, uh, the experts, the leading experts from around the country have said, we've done everything that we should, everything that's appropriate. His administration had even considered shutting the facility down, but that does not appear to be an option anymore. Every medical expert, every medical expert that we have just talked about the Quincy Veterans Home situation and brought in has said it would be a mistake to shut the facility, it would be a mistake to move those veterans. They are frail, they are very elderly. The governor was asked if he would drink the water at Quincy. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. The governor said the Quincy facility is the only one where testing is being done for the bacteria that causes Legionnaires' disease, but he's ordered his staff to look into what it would take to expand that testing to other facilities around the state. The Joint House and Senate Committee hearing on this will be held here in Chicago on January 9th. Okay.